Hi, I'm Emily, the Lead 3D Artist here at CSM. In this video, we're going to talk about baking the high-quality diffuse map you get from a CSM-generated object onto a new mesh or the altered version of that mesh. This is a great tip if you uh, download a object from CSM and you want to alter it just a little bit and you end up remeshing it of some sort and losing the UVs. Um, but you still wanted to use that texture map. Uh, this will definitely save you lots of time. So right here, I'm just roughly remeshing this mesh in the sculpting tool setting. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a lower poly than what it was before. Maybe this is a quick example of something that you might do. Um, and we are going to use this as a base model to bake the textures on. So the next thing that you want to do is UV your new mesh. Um, a good helpful tip is you can always add the grid texture to help visualize how the UVs are looking. Um, this is a really easy step. Um, just create a new material, delete the old material, you're going to want to go to add and then go to texture and then you're going to go to add image texture. This is going to give you a new block. You're going to press new, name this UV, and you're going to press, make sure you press the UV grid under the options. So real quick and very roughly, I'm just going to make some quick cuts for UVs. Um, you should do this before you start uh, the baking process. You need UVs in order to bake your texture onto. So once you are done with UV, you're going to go back to that new material we made. You're going to unhook that one and do the same thing. You're going to add, add a image texture. And then you're going to hook that up to the base color. You're going to press new. Make sure you set it to blank this time and then you're going to name it Bake Diffuse. Once you have the material done, you're going to go back to your objects and this is the important part. You're going to make sure you have Smooth added onto your object or you're going to get those weird bumpy parts baked onto your object. And then you're going to overlap your original mesh on top of your new mesh where they are completely matched up. Next you're going to go to the scene settings and you're going to make sure you change the render if it's not already changed the render settings to cycles and not UV. Cycles going to have the bake option. We're going to go down and hit the bake and then we're going to hit just diffuse because we're only wanting the diffuse. You can leave these checked if you want the direct and indirect lighting to affect the color, but I just want the color, so I'm going to just leave the color selected. I'm going to select the selected only active, and then I'm going to have a 0.3 in between cushion. Um, you can add a cage here if you want at this time, but I'm just going to try this to make sure it works or not. So now we're going to select the low and then the high in the outliner. We are then going to select the big diffuse empty texture map that we just made. And then we're going to hit bake. Once it finished baking, you should have the high poly mesh diffuse texture on your low poly mesh now. I wanted it to be a bit higher in quality, so I actually went back and created a new image texture and made it a 2K texture and just instead of just a 1K texture. It's just a slight difference. Um, this is all for preference, um, but I wanted the 2K texture instead.
You can see here on the very left side the new UVs um, and the texture that is baked on the UVs and it looks really nice. Of course you can go to the shader and you can change the roughness if you want it metallic. Um, you can alter this in multiple different ways but I'm just going to leave it the same. A quick tip, if your texture looks a bit lighter, it's probably just because the specular is high. You're going to go into the shading and you're going to just turn down specular all the way. And you can also change the roughness if you want. But that is probably the issue. And now you should have your low poly and your high poly. And your low poly is going to look exactly the same as the high poly. I hope this video helps um, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!